How do I motivate this sled to go faster? This gun in my hand. Falk Siljan, incontrovertible hero by virtue of the fact that he carries a gun, inspects a red car in the parking lot of the Magnum Diner. You like what you see there, guy? Oh, hi. Yep, just admiring this car. Is it yours? Every inch of it. I like how you took off the sides of the hood and polished those pipe-looking things. You clearly upgraded the tires from the stock versions to, uh, Goodyear? Is it a Chevrolet? It's a 1930 Buick Series 40, but I dropped in a newer DeSoto engine. Wow, let me take some notes with this pencil and notepad. I bet it's got, uh, a carburetor. Yeah, say, you do know your way around a hot rod. A friend of mine spends a lot of time improving his car. Well, his boss's car. He does a lot with gas. Did he convert it to run on diesel? I don't know. Does diesel knock people out when they breathe it in? No. I guess it's not diesel. My name's Flick Zoltan, by the way. I'm new in town. Falk Ziljan? No, it's Flick Zoltan. You're not actually Falk Ziljan trying to infiltrate our group of friends who you suspect of breaking the law? No. Good. I'm Lenny. You know, we're not all about hot rods. Any kind of dangerous activity, we'll try it. We're daredevils. Romano likes to go wing-walking on biplanes at the county fair. And you should see the whole lot of us on roller skates. We don't even go to skating rinks. Strictly curvy roads on steep hills outside of town. Wow. You guys ever balance on floating planks of wood as the tide comes in? Or jump out of airplanes with a piece of fabric that slows your descent to the ground? What'd be the point, breaking your neck? Hey, you should come by the shop and meet the other guys. It's conveniently located across the street. Oh yeah, I see a lot of hot rods over there too. D.O.T. Precision Auto. How do they wire up these green lights under the running boards? I don't know, they won't tell me. Hi, fellas. Who's this mealy mouth trench coat wearing nosy Parker eyeballing my wheels? Oh, hi, Vance. His name's Flick Zoltan. He likes cars the same as us. And over here, under this Dusenberg, is the guy we all look up to like a big brother. Dom Budsman Turniketto. We call him Dom for short. A buddy. Bodie? No, buddy. Buddy. The whole gang here from left to right is Lexi. What's the scoop? Baron. Romano. Hi. Maya. And this is Tuke. Hello. So let me get this straight for my notes. A gang of young men forms around a guy who they look up to like a big brother or hip uncle. They engage in thrill-seeking activities, which sets them apart from average people in their lives, and strengthens the bonds between the thrill-seekers, making them fiercely loyal to each other. Their ultimate level in thrill-seeking is probably robbing banks or hijacking trucks full of valuable electronics. I'm disappointed. This is just another point break. Are you comparing the activities of our innocent gang with the plot of some motion picture? No, it's this cheap pencil. I pressed too hard and the tip broke off. A point break. Oh. Anyway, we don't rob banks or hijack trucks. We just run moonshine on toboggans. The G-men are on the lookout for hot rods like these used by run runners. But they don't pay attention to daredevils on sleds. Why would you run moonshine? Prohibition's over. All that legal liquor gets taxed. Moonshiners still make a ton of money just avoiding taxes. I really shouldn't have told you we do that. Normally when you first meet the crew, Vance would start calling you names until he provoked a fight. Then cops or somebody would break up the fight before there was a decisive winner. And one of the gals would suggest you boys work out your differences with a nighttime car race. Wait, guys, shut up a minute. Tom's radio spot is coming on. If you need auto parts, come on down to DOT Precision Auto. We got them. But that's not all we do. Let's say you're a young Caucasian male who didn't have a good relationship with your father. You're new in town, trying to make a name for yourself. When you show up at the garage looking to soup up your coop, some of the guys razz you. Maybe one of them starts a fight. Somebody suggests you settle things with a race. We already went over this part, Dom. Hey, I didn't go over it. Anyway, you lose the race, but they like your style, so they let you hang around. Pretty soon you're working on cars with them, improving your racing skills, maybe sleeping with the sister of the gang's charismatic leader. Boom, you're part of the family. Ohana means, I don't know, hello and goodbye, and we drag our dead off the battlefield. Something like that. So come on out to DOT Precision Auto today. Three months later, Falk sits on a speeding toboggan, tightly gripping Lenny with one arm to avoid falling off, holding cases of corn mash whiskey behind him with the other. Boy, the last three months really whooshed by. Racing hot rods, my first time wing walking, 
Convincing all of you I could be trusted to join your rum running crew? Why, Dom trusted you the first day he met you. We were just keeping you on the edge of your seat, making you think there was some doubt. Hey, Lexi, watch out for that tree. Lexi and Dom had a crack up. What do we do? If we go back to help, the cops might catch us. You keep going. I'll roll off and lend a hand. Good luck, Zoltan! How did the cops know we'd be here? It has to be you, Flick. You're the rat. Get out of here, Dom. I'll flag down the cops so we can get Lexi to the hospital. I'll tell them I was riding behind her. Shut up, the both of you. It's just a sprained wrist. We can all get away. You know what? I'm sick of this lifestyle anyway. Always worrying if the cops are going to put me back in jail. This is our last job running Moonshine. I got an idea that can make a lot more money. I'll pitch my life story to Hollywood. Call it The Masked and the Furious. I know this kid from the old neighborhood in Detroit, Corman. He'll help me develop the script. He can, uh, what do you call it? Punch it up. Why is it called The Masked and the Furious? Where do the masks come in? All the superhero movies these days, it's practically required. Say, if you let us go, they'll kick you off the police force, won't they? No, I don't work for them. I'm a vigilante. Isn't that illegal? Mm, more or less. <laughs> <laughs> what are you chuckleheads laughing at? Down the hill there. Lenny ran into the side of a barn. Let's go see if any of the booze is broken. Looks like he's the one that needs the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Too Fast, Too Boggin, episode 34 of This Gun in My Hand, was pulled across the snow and into your ears by Rob Northrup. Visit thisguninmyhand.blogspot.com for credits, show notes, information on how to subscribe, and to buy my books, such as Little Heist in the Big Woods and other revisionist atrocities. Why would anyone in Hollywood greenlight Dom's story? This Gun in My Hand. <laughs>